now, back to the Care Bears. It's a beautiful sunny day in Carolot, and this is Station C-A-R-E. Now, stay tuned for Graham's Cooking Corner. Oh, goody, goody, gosh. Tenderheart, look. Graham's is on TV. That's right, Hugs. Graham's new TV show teaches kids how to cook along. We want to learn to cook just like Graham's, don't we, Tugs? And now, here's Graham's with Cooking Corner. Well, hello there. Hello, hello Graham's. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'll bet some of you think that cooking is just too much work, with all that cutting and peeling and pot washing. I'll say, because I have to do all the pot washing. Well, I'm here to show you how cooking can be fun. Especially when you sample the delicious goodies you can make. Goodies? Ouch! I'll bet each of you has a favorite dessert, don't you? Well, today we're going to make Hugs and Tugs' favorite. Gingerbread cookies. Gosh, Graham said our name's on TV. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is my chance to make yummy, terrific goodies. Oh, I mean yucky, disgusting baddies. Okay, everybody. Let's get ready to cook along. Always wash your hands before starting. That's so our food won't get dirt in it. Right, Tenderheart? Right, Tugs. Now you can put on your favorite apron. <laughs> Ooh, that tickles. Collect everything you will need before you start. We will use three bowls. And a measuring cup. Check. A fork and a stirring spoon. Fork. Check. A set of measuring spoons. <laughs> a rolling pin. Some wax paper and a flat cookie sheet. Check. Check. Huh? Yeah! <sighs> Remember, always ask a big person to help you when you need something on a high shelf. You. Now she tells me. We'll also use a cookie cutter and a clock. Why a clock, Tenderheart? So we know when our cookies are done. Oh, yes, don't forget your oven mitts. Well, does everyone have their equipment ready? Ready! Good. Begin by measuring a half cup or 100 milliliters of butter. That's the same as a quarter pound. But we have half a pound, Tenderheart. Let's cut it in two and put one half back in the fridge. Now we have a quarter pound. Hmm. <laughs> your butter in the biggest bowl. Then add a half cup or 100 milliliters of brown sugar loosely packed. Use your fork to make a paste. He Hold your bowl with one hand so that it doesn't slip. Now she tells me. Next, add one quarter cup or 50 milliliters of blackstrap molasses. Be careful when pouring molasses. It's very sticky. Tenderheart, look! The molasses made the batter really dark. My, doesn't that look wonderful? One egg goes in next. Oh, lucky for me, I've been uh, saving this dinosaur egg. Tap your egg gently with a spoon. Hmm. <laughs> Break the egg into the small bowl, and then check the bowl for broken eggshell. Now, add your egg to your batter, and mix well. <sighs> now, in the medium bowl, add together your dry ingredients. Two and a half cups, or 500 milliliters of flour, one quarter teaspoon or one milliliter of baking soda. And last, what gives gingerbread that warm, special taste? I know, spices. If you said spices, you're right. Combine one rounded tablespoon or about 20 milliliters of cinnamon, ginger, and ground cloves. 
cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. That's what I said. We put these spices into the flour and baking soda. No, oh, but all no heart has is oh, pickled bat gizzards, snake knees, uh, spider's eyebrows. Now we'll put the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. No. Oh. <laughs> then mix everything thoroughly. You are now ready to refrigerate your batter. Cover the bowl first and put it in the fridge for one hour or the freezer for 15 minutes. Or the deep, deep freeze for 12 seconds. My goodness, by the miracle of modern television, we've advanced time 15 minutes. Huh? What? Ooh, the bowl feels cold, doesn't it? Yeah! <laughs> it's not cold to me. Now comes the part your big friend or parent will do. Never use a stove or an oven by yourself. Okay, Grams. Turn on the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 175 degrees centigrade. Now, we place a ball of dough between two pieces of waxed paper and roll the dough out so that it is one-eighth of an inch or one-third of a centimeter thick. Yeah! -ha! That looks just about right. Now for the part I like best. Use your favorite cookie cutter and cut out as many gingerbread cookies as you can. Then grease a cookie sheet with a little butter and lay each cutout cookie on the sheet. We made a picture, Tenderheart. We sure did. Oh, isn't he cute? Well, let's put on our oven mitts, because it looks like our cookies are ready for baking. Remember, little ones, your big friend or parent is going to do this part. Bake the gingerbread in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until they're golden brown. Set your clock or timer right now. Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't wait till those cookies are done. Can you? No, I can't. Uh-uh-uh. Good things take time. Hmm. Because I know that a clean kitchen is a safe kitchen, I'll take care of these dishes while I wait. And so will I. <laughs> Tenderheart, when we finish these dishes, will our cookies be done? I think so, Hugs. Let's keep an eye on the clock. Ah, do you smell what I smell? Mitts on, everyone. My, my, they're just right. Let's see how yours turned out. Wow, neat. Stand back, Hugs and Tugs. Those are hot cookies. Oh, my! Don't they look good enough to eat? But let's wait just a little until they cool down. I'll get the plates. Now, my little darlings, didn't we have fun today? We sure did, Grands. While we're all enjoying our cookies... Yeah! <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank you all for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you all soon when we get together for another exciting cooking adventure here on Cooking Corner. Nah. So keep smiling. And keep cooking. Bye now. Bye, Grams. See ya. So long. <laughs> <laughs>
good cookies? Hey, where'd they all go? We saved the biggest for you, Tenderheart. Thank you for helping us. You're welcome. Thank you.